All right, basically we have uh, half of the deer here. Uh, these two pieces here are the hind quarter, off of one hind quarter. We got the back strap here and the front shoulder. We're gonna take them apart. Uh, this is what we call the football roast. Uh, it was one of the first pieces I cut off the hind quarter. Basically you can get underneath all this silver skin and trim her out. Comes out pretty easy. Right there. And that's about it right there. We'll square it up a little bit. And that'll be your roast. It's what we call football roast. That'll get on a tray. It'll be vacuum packaged a little bit sooner, or a little bit later. Uh, this part here, there's some ugly stuff there. It's all trimmed off, tossed out. There's some fat. That's about it. That can all go in for burger. All right. Another part of the hind quarter. Uh, we'll take some muscle groups out of here. We're going to split. There's membranes in between here. All you got to do is feel with your fingers a little bit. Maybe it should slow down, I guess. I'm so used to going fast. Uh, I'm going to take this part off first. That'll be cut for steaks or jerky. Here we got the eye around. It kind of comes apart pretty easy itself. But uh, all you have to do is trim it like that. There's that layer of fat on here. I usually stick the knife right under here. Follow it down. Okay. And it's a beautiful eye around right there. Makes great shish kebab. Or you can wrap it up in bacon. Throw it on the grill. Next, there's just a lot of small pieces of meat in here, fat and glands, that, uh, that'll be good for sausage. This fat we trim off. Here's some more meat that's good. All right, there's more here. It can be used for uh, jerky uh, or sausage. Okay, uh, this piece here, we usually get our steaks out of it, but I like to trim off the silver skin here and take this real fine layer of membrane off of here, it's arteries and stuff, and just clean it up some. Then I take, run your knife really as thin as you can underneath the silver skin, just like that. All right, take that off. And what I like to do with this is fillet it off uh, because you got this layer of fat right here and what I like to do is follow the fat line as much as I can and just above it and just run your knife through it and if it comes out nice you get a really nice fat free piece of meat pretty much like that this here can go in your grind you got a little bit more here to throw in your grind All right. Okay. Now this here we like to cut into steaks, but there is also a silver skin in here. I uh, like to get as close as I can to it. Take that off. That could be made in the jerky or grind. And that's it. We cut this into steaks or jerky. I'll cut it into steaks right now. You can usually get uh, eight, nine, or ten steaks in here depending on how thick you like to cut them. See how they're coming out? All right. We'll pop these on the tray. And they'll go into the packaging room where we'll uh, vacuum pack these real nice. And they'll last you quite a while. You'll get at least a year out of them. I've had them where they've lasted uh, five years. Okay. 
Next is this one here, another part of the hind quarter. This was the inside ham part right here. And generally there's a, a chunk of thin layer of meat that really just basically gets uh, wasted because it, see how black it is? It usually got uh, hair, dirt, and everything else on here. So best just to toss this piece away and it's really nothing there. It's just a real thin piece of meat. See, I don't want to throw that in any grinding. Might taste a little funny. All right, I'm gonna trim the rest off. See, I don't want to put that in. All right, next, uh, I like to trim this dark meat that it's dried up. Get that off of there. And there's a layer of fat right there I'll trim off. Right there. We got some more dark meat here. All right. And uh, we'll cut the uh, steaks and or jerky out of this piece too. It probably only weighs a couple of pounds, but it's uh, it's really lean meat here. Take this artery out here too. Okay, about ready to go. Generally, I uh, like to start it off square, with a square piece there. All right, and I'll cut the steaks like this, you know. I like them at least half inch thick. And you get quite a few of them here. Just gotta watch out for this last one when you've got your knife going down the edge of your fingers here. And you don't slice your fingers. Just square off that last piece, throw it in the grind. And uh, we'll tree them up like this. Really nice. small steaks here and okay let's do the back strap next these are sometimes very difficult for some some guys to do but uh, you got this back fat on here uh, comes off really easy basically just get your hands up underneath there and pull all this back fat off okay Nothing but garbage there. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna take the silver skid off. But first I wanna get this membrane in here. You know, it's got a lot of silver skin in there, fat and everything else. It's really not that good to, for a steak anyway, but it makes a good grind for sausage and stuff. So what I like to do is there's a like a cord right in here along the back strap that makes it a lot easier if you take it out first if you want to take that silver skin off all right and basically it just comes off right here all right and now it should come off pretty easy with any luck <laughs> Most times they come off really easy, but uh, you start off because you got to have something to grab onto and you need a good sharp knife is slice it. Don't slice it all the way through, but just slice it slightly and then turn your knife to where you're going across the top of the uh, silver skin and just pull it along. Okay, and the voila. If there's any meat left on here, you can use your knife and scrape it off. It's good for sausage. Same with this piece here. As you see, there's a little bit left right here. It's no big problem. It happens. Sometimes they come off all in one piece and sometimes they don't, but it's all good. Now this will be cut in uh, three pieces. Basically the length of our trays, just like that, okay? 
and they'll get packaged like that. Cool. Now the front shoulder, uh, get this part here, it's got a gland in it that just a big chunk of fat. I've already split it, and you can see that gland in there. You don't want to throw that in your grind. Uh, there's a little bit of meat on the back side of it. Uh, generally, I just cut it right out. Uh, you can, I guess, cut that all out. You get a, some meat right there, it's not bad. But you don't want that gland in there. Same with uh, sometimes inside the, the hindquarters, uh, there's a gland in there. Uh, you take this off, here's your knee. Run a knife down until I hit the bone. Turn the knife until I hit the other bone. And then pull it right off. This can be basically your grind for, uh, for hamburger. It finished boning out uh, the front shoulders. There's a, a bone right in here if you follow the edge of it. And just bring your knife and follow the inside of this bone. And just trim it right off. And everything else in here is just really tight. There's not a lot of meat that you can get at unless you spend a ton of time on it to get little pieces up. Uh, we try to get as much as we can out of here. here. All right. And this back blade here, we try to get it off like this. Not very much there. Anymore, just little pieces here and there. Uh, you can run your knife up in here to take the meat off the bottom part of the leg. I feel like I'm in a hurry. Ooh. I don't know why. I think that's about all I can get off of here. There's just little pieces left here and there. So that's about it. That's one half of the deer dog. Okay, uh, here we are. We, we just got done uh, quartering up, boning out uh, one half of the deer. And uh, we're just showing you, uh, you got your football roast here, uh, your eye around here, your back straps here, and your stakes here. Uh, we're going to do the other half of deer in a few minutes, but we're going to Take this into our uh, packaging room and vacuum pack it just so you can see uh, what you're getting. But like I said, this is only half of the deer. It doesn't include the hamburger or anything yet. Uh, we'll show you that in a little while. Here we are again at Uncle Henry's. Gourmet Meats in Troy, Michigan, where when you bring your deer in, this is what you get back. All boneless cut, backing pack, silver skin taken off your back straps. We're located in, like I said, in Troy, Michigan. You can check us out on our Facebook page or UncleHenry'sGourmetMeats.com. <laughs> yes. Did I get everything? Yes. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook, Gour Uncle Henry's Gourmet Meats. Uh, and check us out on the... <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm looking at you because I forgot. Mess it up a few more times. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I screwed up. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs>